Hey guys, in today's video, I want to show you how you can use the HTML5 date input in Django. So on the left hand side here, I have the HTML5 date input. And then on the right, I have an input generated by a Django form that is a date field or that has a date field, I should say. So looking at the code, here's the form. My date field is a date field here. And in the template, I have the input that we saw on the left. So this is the one on the left. And on the right is the input from Django. So example form dot my date field, that is from this form. And as you can see, it generates a text field. And that's not always what you want because this date picker is nice for a lot of purposes. So to get this to work, what you need to do is create your own input and pass it as a widget. So you're creating your own input widget, date input, and you'll pass it as a widget to the date field. So to do that, you can create a class and you can name it whatever you want, but I'm going to call it date input. And it's going to inherit from forms dot date input. So this is the same date input that is being used in the date field, but by default, this input uses the text type. So to change it, you just say input type equals date and everything will remain the same about the input except for the type and the type will change to date. So to use this widget here, all you have to do is specify the widget when you create the date field. So widget equals date input. And now when I run this, we see that both look exactly the same. So they're both using the HTML5 date input. So they both have the input type as date. So if you're using model fields, it's pretty similar. So let's say example model form. So if you're using a model form, then what you would do is in your meta class. So, you know, of course you'll say what fields you want, but in your meta class, you can specify the widgets by creating a dictionary called widgets and specify the name of the field first. So let's say it's called my date field as well. And then you pass in the actual widget. So date input. And in this case, you need to instantiate it yourself. So at the parentheses, and this will make whatever field is my date field in your model form have the date input type. So pretty short video, but this is something that can be useful for a lot of people because there's really no need to use uh, fancy JavaScript libraries to generate date pickers when you have a really simple case. So this may help you. So if you have any questions about this video, feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, make sure you visit my website to get both the Django cheat sheet and to check out the course Understanding Django. I'll link to both in the description below. Uh, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment like this video and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.